Okay, we're looking at milk thistle, another non-native invasive plant uh, that grows fairly readily on the island. Uh, you'll see it mostly on roadsides, uh, trail uh, sides, and in uh, other disturbed areas. Milk thistle um, superficially does look a bit like our native um, uh, cobwebby thistle and also like another non-native called the bull thistle. But one of the things that um, really distinguishes it is the, um, the milky veins in its leaves, which we'll show you here in just a moment, uh, from where it gets its name, milk thistle. Okay, so kind of a close-up of the, the milk thistle. It's not native, but let's face it, it's a pretty interesting looking plant. It's got these uh, really colorful flowers uh, surrounded by these uh, rather vicious spines, if I may call it that. Um, as I, The plant basically got its name from the milky sap that runs in, the, uh, in the, the leaves. So that's where it gets its name, milk thistle. And that's how you can really distinguish it from other thistles on the island. Nothing else looks quite like this. The leaves give it away, even though the flower head may very well look like some of the other uh, native thistles and native thistles that we have. This one is um, uh, got some interesting botan ethnobotanical aspects to it. The seeds are considered a liver cure by lots and lots of people, including particularly the Germans and other Europeans who um, distill them down to an extract and they are um, used as a, a cure for things like cirrhosis of the liver and are, have been actually clinically shown to have a positive influence on uh, regenerating liver tissue. So uh, it's probably not just legend, milk thistle probably is a really good thing for your liver. Um, the stems are edible, the young stems, if you peel them and eat them like celery, um, they're actually really tasty. 